and welcome to another cube. Uh, while I make this window a bit better, bigger. Uh, we have a Kiora again. We have an Ajani. We have a Dungeon Geist. Um, we have a Wolf here. So there's one, two, three, four really good cards. Chain Lightning. Capsize is fine. Uh, not something I definitely want though. I think Kiora is better than Ajani. I mean, you get to the ulti sooner. Well, this actually and this actually removes while plusing. Yeah, let's go for Kiora again. We played with it last time. Um, I might splash it. I might just play it. Uh, I might not play it at all. We'll see. Uh, I think out of those cards is one of the stronger cards. Uh, and the ulti is just you know game winning. It's it's game breaking. Uh, basically, because you get it at end step. Uh, so you can always block with it and uh, turn you activate it, you also get one, so yeah. Um, really good card, sees plain standard, doesn't it? And we get a sort of war and peace. Um, not really the colors you want to be in with the sword, but the sword... To pass up a sword is really hard. Uh, no clue what my opponent, uh, what person to my right picked out of something like this. Um, Bane Slayer seems fine, Huntmaster is fine. Uh, not some card you want to commit into two colors in, though. Um, so it has to be Karn or something. Karn, Jace, another sword, Spare Skull, maybe Stoneforge Mystic, hoping that it can pick up a sword later on. Uh, but then I would just pick the sword over it, I think. I would never pick a Mystic over a sword. Uh, pack one, pick one, I think. I would just go with the sword. Is Sword of War and Peace the best sword? Definitely not. Um, sword of Fire and Ice takes the cake. Uh, probably followed by Feast and Famine for Tempo. I'm not so sure about that though. We get a Lotus Cobra, which I think I'll pick up. Uh, it accelerates us into Kiora. It is the creature that we can equip with Sword of War and Peace. We also have a Lutro Core, which you can wheel. But this also signals to the people to my left that I want to be green because there's no other green in the back. Uh, maybe the someone to my right is green, but it seems unlikely. Uh, there's Avenger and Track Task. Both are pretty sick. I think Avenger is a better card, more game breaking. This might wheel. Uh, and this fits the colors though. Track Task, not a bad card, uh, but I am going to go with the Avenger. So we have a landfall team at this point, which actually goes together with Kyor because you can drop extra lands with it. Uh, but that's not what I'm gonna use it for, is it? <laughs> so yeah, uh, creature. We're gonna go creature based, some kind of tempo. Uh, what do I want? Upheaval wouldn't be bad. Survival of the fittest wouldn't be bad. Um, what else? Cyclonic Rift, is it actually in the format? I think it should be a cube card. Like, bonds everything your opponent controls. Pretty good. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to take the Fine Thorn Elves. But there's also this member. The colors I will play or am playing at this point are. Well, actually haven't committed to a second color yet. Sure, there is, Ke there is Keora, but... Uh, but there's not a specific card I would want to jump into here. Uh, that I w would say, hey, I want to jump in that color. Uh, there's Presentis, a card I hoped last time would wheel. Uh, but there's also Noble Hierarch. I mean, the card is really good. Accelerates me to 3 drops as well. Uh, fixes my mana a bit. Especially if you're just splashing blue. There's a Garak. Uh, not the best actually, but I mean it does make two two tokens, which would go together with the attrition. But yeah, can't put up a Garrick there. Uh, the fact that we get a seven speed Garrick should mean that green is open, right? I mean, now that the format does not have black lotus and or anything, uh, being green ramp is actually pretty good because you other core. Colors do not have the same ramp that you do. 
so it is a viable strategy now uh, while cube with moxes and, and black lotuses or one black lotus of course uh, but signets um, I think mainly signets uh, that everyone has access to and better acceleration makes the format a bit worse for um, green so there's juicy apprentice or wake treasure Wake Treasure is really good on the offense. Juicy Apprentice is really good if you want to be a controlish deck. Um, but I always have to invest mana in this. I'm gonna go for a Treasure. It seems like a stronger card. Uh, it definitely has a bigger upside. You know, um, I'm all in favor for drawing cards. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of drawing cards, but. Wake Treasure just hits so hard. Hmm. Until your next turn. So you can do it on your own turn before attackers as well. Nice. That's pretty interesting. It says permanent, so. Um, can do it on mainland and stuff like that. So capsize wield hinder is there. Uh, good question. What I want to do? I think capsize is a better card. I can save my own things. It's really broken in the late game. Hinder is good though, but I think capsize is a more unique effect uh, to get. There's awakening zone and pride mage. Uh, I think I'll go with the Awakening Zone. It creates uh, Eldrazi, of course, but it mana accelerates. Luther Core Wield, definite snap there. Um, do not see why this card would wheel. Don't think there was anything. Oh, Simic Skies Water Wheel as well, nice. Uh, let's take up the Evelyn Riders and, and hate it. Like I'm definitely not gonna play it with the, the way these cards are gonna be played out. I don't think I'm gonna have many issues with the card, but uh, I'd rather, you know, see someone else play um, something crap. So this time I do get a uh, Progenitus and Last Pika Realist Fury. Interesting. It's no one's Boris. That's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> So 12 out of the 15 cards I picked I would play, it's not bad. Uh, we already have 7 creatures as well and the Planeswalkers that actually makes creatures. So our sword is already really valuable. Out of these I think Frost, Frost Titan is the better card. Uh, Rofellas is fine but um, obviously not the absolute nuts and Frost Titan is a really good card. So we'll pick up that one and hope Rofellas wheels, it usually w won't. Uh, there's Vesuvian Shapeshifter. There's Preordain, of course. Uh, Thornscape Battle Mage, I won't be playing. Vesuvian Shapeshifter basically um, becomes a creature you control, so. Uh, we can get another Avenger, we can get another Frost Titan with the effect. I think I want this card. And it also um, can copy your opponent's creatures. Sure. Master of Waves, huh? So there's the Sylvan Library. Uh, Master of Waves is interesting, but um, you know, not that devoted to blue at this point anyway. Kira is fine, but uh, Library is just you know really sick card. Would be really hard to pass up there, and probably a bad idea to pass it up. Uh, we're still looking for some. Earlier creatures like the fighter, I always forget the name, uh, the one one that lets you fight creatures um, is really good here uh, in this deck because this deck always likes removal. Like, you usually want something like Sour, Venser, uh, Bonds, uh, stuff like that because else you just have no tempo gain, you have no removal. Uh, now I have Garak as removal, but that's it. Like Kiora does something, Frost Titan does something, Capsize does something, like I'm not that here. But uh, other colors have 
decent remove also says source supply shares just burning it dismembering it just you know go for the throating it it doesn't matter oblivion uh, ring but these two colors never have any kind of removal unless you play dismember or splash something um, but you do get a control magic um, it's probably one of the best cards in the format so yeah definitely picking it up I mean uh, you can't say no against these cards Histrodon, huh? We played with that yesterday. There's Elves of Deep Shadow, which I won't play. There's a Acidic Slime and Wall of Blossoms. Or Wood Elves. I think Acidic Slime is a better card for me here. Uh, its effect is unique enough that I want it. Like, I haven't seen an Indrix Stomp Power yet. Um, which I might pick up if I can get it, but I mean, Acidic Slime is a really good card. Uh, wouldn't mind a Fauna Shaman now. Be uh, rather have a Fauna Shaman over um, Survival of the Fittest. Seems weird, but Fauna Shaman is a creature, so it has more value for me in this deck than Survival of the Fittest, because I have no um, card advantage gain here with Survival, while Fauna Shaman, you know, on its own being a creature, of course it's... Uh, Weaker to removal, but I think it's a better card at this point. Or at least in the deck I'm I have drafted so far. Like if I could pick up survival and squee, sure. I would rather have survival over uh Fana Shaman then. Or I don't know, French Fine, Genesis, um is Squee actually in the cube? I don't know. You can probably look it up, but Legacy is a lure. Isn't that bad, but there is also a Kega in there, um, which I'll get. I mean, five five dragons. You can't say no to those, right? Uh, Titans have obviously overtaken dragons. Like um, these were the old nuts cards, right? Yet uh, Kukusho, this one, and Yoseju, I think the white ones. Um, called those three were, were definitely played. Uh, you had the mono black control deck. You had. Uh, a blue deck that played one or two of these copies and then you had uh, the white one which actually had an infinite combo right um, where it's you know got it back and, and kept stuff tapped down uh, but then titans came out and titans definitely you know they don't have flying but their effects are also really good uh, we do get a venge vine pretty interesting we also get a mana fix but uh, can't pass up a venge vine here it's um uh, it's not a nuts card. It's not nuts by far, but it's a pretty decent card to say, to say the least. I mean um <laughs> something else pretty funny about my YouTube videos, there's this one guy and I do appreciate this, like it's insane. He always likes my videos, uh, my cube draft videos that is. Uh, so he takes time and effort, and I don't actually know what likes do on YouTube. Um, I have seen popular streamers uh, ask for them or something, so I assume... Oh, nice, get a mana bar. Uh, so I assume they, they, they are needed to um, get your videos seen or listed higher or whatever. Um, and there's one guy that actually takes the effort to do so, so shout out to that guy, you're probably watching this. Um, anyway... Um, I appreciate it, even though, you know, it doesn't actually benefit me, or I don't know what it does. Um, <laughs> nothing special here, um, there was a card I wanted to wield, but probably wouldn't have wield. I've forgotten which one it was though, uh, but we'll pick up a Thermogoyf here, might play it, might not play it. Um, I guess I'll pick up the Grasslands, uh, probably won't play that either. All is Dust is actually a pretty good card. Like I won't play any of the others. I might sideboard in All is Dust against some decks. Um, it's obviously bad for me as well because uh, it's not the kind of thing I want. I want to gain incremental uh, board control and advantage. Um, and All is Dust obviously doesn't uh, help with that, especially not seeing that I have no artifacts except one equipment. But an equipment without a creature is just terrible. Question is, do I want to play Awakening Zone? 
think I do. It's not that bad. It makes tokens, uh, so infinite blockers. It accelerates uh, to set up bigger turns. If I get an upheaval uh, in the last pack, pretty good. Uh, but I already have 21 cards, uh, with still a pack to open and go. So I'm pr pretty pleased with how this is going so far. Uh, it seems that these two colors are somewhat open, seeing that I got control magic passed. And um, Sylvan Library and stuff like that. So I got pretty good cards passed to me. There's Regrowth, meh. There's Moment Speed against aggressive decks. And there's Persecute. I think Persecute is uh, a really good card and I'm just gonna hate it here. Normally I would pick Moment Speed, but Persecute is really good. I have no clue how that card wield. Um, most decks in, in the cube at this moment are single color or double color, and Persecute just wrecks so many hands. Uh, it's insane. And it's usually, you know, s uh, whoa. Did not expect this. So there's Elves of Deep Shadow or Wood Elves. I'm gonna go for the Elves of Deep Shadow because it allows me it allows me to accelerate in 3 drops um, like from low maps, you're not gonna play that while wood elves would accelerate me into late game which I do not have that much of so elves of deep shadow was the better pick in my opinion so we do open a fauna shaman and a survival of the fittest pretty interesting I did say oh, I would prefer fauna shaman and I am gonna uh, keep up with that. I think I prefer Final Shaman here over Survival just because I don't have that much of an incremental gain with Survival of the Fittest. Um, let me think about it. I have a bench by now but that's about it, right? Like Final Shaman, sure, it taps but it's weaker to removal. Now it's a creature. I want creatures, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, still gonna pick the Final Shaman. Might be wrong. Um, we'll see how it plays out. I think the Final Shaman is. No, it's a functional reprint, but the fact that it is a creature does seem better in my current deck. Um, with an equipment, having somewhat of an aggressive team. And it's more like utility compared to, you know, build your deck around it. Uh, we get a really good 4 drop and a Jace. Um, pretty hard pick. Um, I think the Jays is a better pick though. Like triple four mana planeswalkers and another good one. Uh, Polychronos, obviously a nice card. Um, but I'm pretty good on strong creatures, so I'm gonna go for the power card, which is Jays. Now we get this card. Um, pretty good, but not for me. Uh, I'll pick up a Plow Wonder. Over and took a vigilante because I have the acidic slime. Uh, I don't actually like this card because it costs five as well, uh, over two turns of course. But me, um, I think Plow Wonder is better against control decks or greedy decks. Uh, obviously, won't main deck it, but can sideboard in plenty of times. I think. So it's more like drafting sideboard cards there. Uh, there's a kitchen things and a Borderlands Ranger. Uh, but it puts it into our hands. There's Tropical Islands, and I don't think I need a fix. I think I'd rather have a good creature, which Kitchen Things just is. So, um, yeah, let's pick up a Kitchen Things. No, I'm a guy who really loves a uh, fix, but I do think Kitchen Things there is better. Um, Oracle versus Birds. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Oracle, obviously works a bit better, birds accelerates, but already have triple acceleration, so I'm gonna go for the oracle here. I uh, need to cut three cards at this point. I think Tarmo go is gone, sorry Tarmo, but you're not that great. Uh, Awakening Zone is probably gone because I have uh, one, two, three, four uh, speed ups. And there's the Genesis, huh? How annoying. Genesis versus turn witness. Yeah, Genesis is just better. Won't main deck it, I think. Um, I 
will bring it in, but maybe I won't play the Simic Sky Swallower and will play the Genesis. I mean, I still have to cut a card out of these, so plenty of things to think about. Yeah, if I knew the Genesis was come, maybe the survival would have been better. But I still stand by my decision of picking Fun and Shaman over survival of the fittest. Like even with Genesis it's really, really slow. And without removal you let your opponent just and I don't have any counter either. Let's just let your opponent do whatever the fuck he wants. Sorry for uh profanity. Uh so you let your opponent do whatever he wants. And in the late game he'll be doing what he wants as well and it's not that my late game is, is crushing or anything. I don't have an upheaval, I don't have a card that says hey I win the game right now. Um so yeah, I think trying to build up slow advantages with survival genesis combo just isn't the way this deck is gonna play out. Uh there is a Terra Stodon though and Rude Awakening. Hmm. And a Strangle Root guys as well. Interesting here. I think Terra Stodon is a pretty good card. But then it would also be a sideboard card against the control decks. And I don't think I need a card like that. I'd rather have a Strangle Root guys. Yeah. Uh Blessed Derm, sure. Anything else I want? Nope. Nah, it's a blessed drum. Uh, won't play it, but obviously don't mind seeing it there. Uh, still need to cut two cards now. There's a mold chambler which I will pick up and put in the sideboard. It's actually a pretty decent card. There's a seaside citadel which I'll pick up and not play. There's a helmer depths which I won't play because my curve is too low to do so. Uh, heartbeat of spring, huh? There's frantic search and turnabout. Turnabout isn't that bad, but it's not that great either. And frantic search, search just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I think it's most likely that my one of my persons to the left will pick it up, uh, or would like a frantic search over any of the other cards. So I, I pick that one. Uh, there's a flooded grove, so I do manage to get a fix through. Uh, tropical Island already passed, right? Because it was Tropical Island followed by Flood Grove, not the other way around. Uh, really, and this is something I need to work on, uh, is paying attention to... Like, I know which cards are in packs, I just don't know in which pack they are. Like, I'm thinking about it, looking at a pack and saying, yeah, this card might wheel. And now I'll, I'll think about it and say, yeah, this card might wheel, and, and just um, get it. Uh, or hope it wheels, but then I won't remember which booster it was in so the booster comes back and I, I don't even realize the card is missing sometimes uh, like with the Tarmogoyf you, you notice that I uh, saw the Tarmogoyf there and was like yeah uh, one of these two will will and then it comes back and I'm like what was the other card in this like I don't remember at that point uh, so won't play any of these five there's also a red card in here yep um, so yeah 35 playable cards huh? So there's Genesis that's out, Rude Awakening that's out, Plow Wonder that's out, Mold Chambler that's out, Blaster Drum. Well, Blaster Drum maybe. I think it's a maybe. Uh, Frantic Surge. Life from the Loam. So there's 26 cards. It's a pretty aggressive deck at this point. Um, maybe Sim Sky Swallower has to go out. This can be a 3 drop. Let's put non creatures somewhere else. Like, I like the curve of this deck. Looks pretty nice. Um, hmm. Do you want to experiment one though? I don't think I do. It's not that bad, but it's not that great either. Um, boom, boom, boom. So it's at max gonna be a six six. It's when it comes into play, right? Enters the battlefield. So it works with Garrock. So maybe I do want it.
It's at least gonna be a 2 2. A lot of my creatures are 2 power. But that's it, right? I mean, my dream play then would be experiment 1, turn 1, turn 2, Strangle Root Guys, turn 3, Kitchen Things, turn 4, Vengevine, turn 4, 5, Physical Wind Shapeshifter on Vengevine, turn 6, Frost Titan. That's about it. So don't think I want a card in. I might sideboard it in against aggressive decks just to have a 1-1 one, one that can regenerate if need be. I still need a card out. I don't think I can cut any of these like 3 strong planeswalkers, a control magic, a bond spell which I need, a sword to keep on my things and a sylvan library which is you know a really good card. So it has to be a creature and then it has to be the Vesuvian shapeshifter I think. Um, it'll come in together with a Mold Chambler against um, some things. It does have an effect with Mana War, Kitchen Things, Acidic Slime. Hmm. Just such a good card, though, for the Shapeshifter. Maybe the Acidic Slime is the cut, but I think you want one of those. Maybe it's Mold Chambler that I want in. Like Mold Chambler over the Sig Slime. Uh, the reason for this is that it, this is actually. It, well, this has that touch. But this hits harder and can be just cast as a 4 4. But this always hits something. Like your opponent will have a land. Uh, yeah, System Alert. So, recording this on Wednesday. Um, so, it's gonna be downtime. Uh, pretty soonish. Someone has said something on Skype. Okay. Um, <laughs> it is actually pretty tough. Like, there might be a viewer out there that's saying, Hey man, cut that or that or man, you idiot. Why would you ever play Oracle, for example? Um, I think that has to be the card that has to go. Oracle of Moldaya, but it's such a strong card though. I can't underestimate the power of it. Like Looter is there because it's unblockable, it draws me cards or it filters my hand basically. Um let's go over every card. Uh I have five minutes. So three acceleration I think is fine. I think you want uh one drop accelerations in this kind of deck. Uh then you have Lotus Cobra which you definitely want because you want to power out one of these three. Uh, there's Fun and Shaman, which, you know, it was Dead or Survival of Fittest, but can cut it. There's Strangleroot Geist. <sighs> it's a fine card. It has Undying. So it's a 2-1 and then a 3-2. With a Sword possibility on it. Man, it's just the same with Kitchen Things. Like, they're just good cards. They're just value cards. There's Library, you have to pick it. So Kitchen Things, 3-2 for 3. Um... Nice ability and the persist. There's Manowar, which I think I want. There's Weight Treasure, uh, which, seeing that I am low curve, I will probably tap out the rest of the turns as well. Um, and this is gonna be a heavy beater. I seem to be semi aggressive, semi control, so more mid range. Then there's the Shapeshifter, which I'm not sure about. I think it's a bit more controlish than anything else. But it does have the ability to gain me a lot of value. Sword of War and Peace and Capsize. Maybe Capsize has to go because it's just a, a dumb bounce that does nothing else. Uh, but for 6 mana I can keep getting it back so maybe I should put it at 6 drops. Uh, then there's the Oracle which, you know, um, it is a 2-2 with a nice ability. Like it makes sure that you won't draw land or at least can plan ahead. And allows you to accelerate. Um, not that I need acceleration at that point. Then there's these four, which obviously stay. There's Vengevine, which I think I want. 4-3, uh, Haster. Uh, Cidic Slime, just an all-round answer to things together with the final Shaman, able to get it. Uh, same with Kega, good card, 5-5 five, five Flyer. And if they do kill it, you get their best creature. So yeah. Uh, there's Frost Titan, 6-6 six, six for 6, which is a great ability. And Avenger is just a nice finisher. So it's between Capsize, Shapeshifter, um, Oracle, and Wake Treasure in my eyes. 
maybe the strength root guys, but probably not. So it's between those four cards. I think the Oracle has to go. It's, like Wake Treasure I want, I think I want Capsize. So then there's... The problem is Capsize, if you're behind you lose, right? Because you spend 6 mana every turn. Spend six mana every turn, and you then have to try to increase your board. Well, with triple planeswalker, it's doable. But then, if you want land drops, then Oracle is better. Yeah. But Shapeshifter on first Titan is so good. Shapeshifter on, like only first Titan because that has lasting effect. Maybe Kitchen Things because it then has persist, or Stranger Guys because it has Undying. But that's it, right? Um, I don't, I can't copy Kega because that would just be double mind control. I can copy Avenger, uh, but that would just, you know, uh, like not come into play effects. I'm, I'm not talking about coming to play effect. But I think if I have Avenger in play, it would already be winning. So, um, it's not, not a card I would play because of that. Um, maybe I'll just play four to one. Yeah, let's try that for once. Like, I really have no clue where, why the hell would I ever play planes. Uh, pass back color, please. Okay, so one more green. Yeah, I'm gonna go for 4 to 1. I really can't make the decision. I even wanted Simic Sky Swallower in there, but I think my late game is good enough. I uh, might bring it in against uh, some decks, but I think Avenger and Kagan and stuff like that are good enough cards. And I'll see you guys in the very first round.